A typical Khayal presentation of a raga is two or three tiered. That is, a Khayal presentation typically uses two or three compositions in different layers, in different tempos. It will the Khayal presentation of a raga will start with a Vilambit Khayal and then it will proceed to a Drut Laya composition. That is, it will start with a slow Khayal and then it will uh, move, it will also include a rendition of a, a Drut or a fast tempo composition and there will be Vistar around both. The Thala may be the same and very often it is the same. So, a, a, a rendition of a raga might you know first begin with a composition in Vilambit Tintal and after that it will be followed by a composition in Drut Tintal. So different compositions in different layers offer different possibilities for Vistar or improvisation and the ramping up of the layer is um, conducive to creating and building up of uh, interest and uh, tension. So, as I said, typically a Khayal composition, a Khayal rendition will include two compositions, but sometimes it may also include three. Uh, so, it may be followed by, the Vilambit may be followed by a Madhya Lai Bandesh and then a, a Drut composition which may even be a Tarana. A leisurely uh, presentation of a Raga in Khayal can take a minimum of 45 minutes can go on up to an hour and more. So, how, what happens? How does a Khayal presentation unfold? It begins, a Khayal presentation begins with a short, very leisurely introductory alap without tal, that is, it's anibadha. This alap should establish the raga clearly and ambiguously and evocatively. And then the Vilambit composition is rendered. Usually this thai is rendered first once or twice and then the, the singer will embark upon the Vistar with whatever he or she prefers, you know, alap, bol alap, bol lai, etc. Taans usually are, do not enter right in the beginning. Taans are rendered towards the end of the uh, Vista. And there is a step by step development or Badhat, that is or Vista beginning in the lower ranges and progressing towards the Tarasa. The Tar Shadja, that is the higher Sa and uh, singing it or attaining that is, uh, is, is a landmark a point of great drama and uh, once that happens then the antras mukhada is sung. Typically the full antra is not sung at that time. The antras mukhada alone is sung and then more badhat, uh, more vistar in the higher ranges is performed after which the antra is rendered fully and then you return to the sthai. And in many schools at this point the laya is increased. After which we have bol laya, bol bant, bol taan and also taans. So then the vilambit khayal is uh, rounded off and after which a uh, drut bandish is rendered typically with uh, at this stage you, you won't you know embark upon leisurely ala most more uh, bol bant and taan kind of uh, Vistar uh, will be uh, performed around a Drut Bandish. And the Laya may be increased again and the presentation is brought to a close after some you know, climactic fast Thans. Um, and typically there is also the rendition of the Mukhra three times. And this is called a Tihai. And the tihai, when it is rendered like this, typically uh, indicates that the presentation or the, that particular composition has been wound up. The tihai is an important rhythmic device that is used in 
uh, other ways and in other places too. The expectation is that the last, uh, so what is a tihai? Tihai is any pattern that is repeated thrice. It could be a, a rhythmic pattern, it could be the text of a song, uh, it could be the mukhda, it could be anything. It has to be rendered thrice. And the expectation is that the last repetition must achieve some kind of resolution, usually by landing on the sum. So that is uh, tihai, which is very often encountered in uh, khayal and very, very often encountered in instrumental performance. They revel in tihais. Now, in a typical concert of uh, say two hours, today it is two hours or even less. Um, a few decades ago, it was like three hours with a break in between or four hours. But uh, these days, an hour and a half or two is a typical length for a full uh, khayal concert. So, in such a concert, you, you may hear two or three ragas. The first raga is uh, presented in two or three tiers using two or three compositions and can easily be uh, run for 45 minutes or one hour, typically 40-45 minutes. The second and the third raga presentations are shorter, often using Madhyalaya compositions or compositions set to Chaptal or Rupaktal because there these avartanas are shorter and there is a variation of pace if you introduce, when we introduce these thoughts. The choice of ragas is also done with a view to offering some variety in terms of the notes and the nature of the raga. That is, you may have ragas drawn from different thoughts or of different prakritis. Then these, all these uh, pl are planned with a view to retaining interest. And often uh, a khayal concert ends with a a lighter piece, either a tumri a kind of composition or a bhajan. Uh, many khayal uh, singers do not render, do not, do not perform tumri because that calls for a completely different uh, sensibility, different training. So very often we, uh, a khayal a, a concert will end with a a lighter piece in the form of a bhajan. Now, uh, I want to talk here about the Raga Bhairavi. Now, traditionally, Raga Bhairavi, actually it is Ragini Bhairavi, but nobody says Ragini these days. So, Bhairavi is uh, rendered at the end of a concert. There is Bhairavi actually is one of the most uh, widely used ragas in many genres of Indian music, including film and religious music. Now, if in a concert, a uh, classical concert, the singer or, or the instrumentalist starts rag Bhairavi, it signals the end of the concert. That is, the concert will end after that piece. So, no, there is no performance after rag Bhairavi. Um, so, Bhairavi, as I said, signals the end of the concert. And so, Rag Bhairavi is regarded as Sarvakalika. That is, it can be performed at any time. The Raga time association is relaxed in the context of, in the case of Bhairavi. Bhairavi is a Mangala Raga, in a Raga on which to end a performance and it can be performed at any time. There is a link to a performance of Rag Bhairavi in the description box that I would encourage you to listen to. Accompaniment or Sangat is an important aspect of Khayal. Besides the all important Tanpura, there is a melodic accompaniment which is the harmonium or the sarangi or the violin and we have the tabla of course. As we have already discussed, the tabla 
is the keeper of the tal that is the theka the the basic strokes of the tala this is what the tabla player plays for most part and he never strays very far from the theka because that is the reference for the tala cycle for all performers and the audience but you will also notice that there is a constant as i said there is a constant variation in the theka it is not a monotonous set of strokes that is played over and over but one that remains you know fundamentally the same and identifiable but is constantly embellished and all constantly played around with you know the, the tabla player will play with it play with the theka but always responding to the singer to what the raga exposition uh, is uh, kind of it needs so as the there is a build up towards the mukhra as the singer uh, fills the avartan and makes her way or starts building up towards the mukhra you will see that the tabla player also often improvises along with the singer in anticipation and both of them will land on the sum we will look in some detail at the harmonium too later here i want to talk about another instrument called swaramandal because many prominent khayal vocalists use this while performing they themselves typically they themselves played now this is a harp like instrument and it is a box mounted with about 32 strings 32 uh, strings which are tuned to the notes of the raga whichever raga is being performed the notes of those ragas are uh, what this instrument is tuned to in aroha and avroha so with every change in raga the swaramandal has to be retuned now um while uh, the when the swaramandal is used it has an effect of a shimmering cascade of swaras of the raga and uh, uh, it can be seen as offering a richer listening experience prominent khayal singers like bade gulam ali khan and uh, shrimati kishori amonkar have used it now uh, let us listen to a very short exposition of rag mia ke todi it is about 15 minutes long it it is uh, very short because mia ke todi is one of the very major ragas of hindustani music and it can be performed easily for 45 to uh, 45 minutes to 1 hour but for the purposes of this course this is an abbreviated exposition um this uh, is a two tired presentation the vilambit is in chhumra of uh, 14 beats it's a traditional composition and is followed by atarana in drut ektal observe the tabla accompaniment and the harmonium accompaniment the harmonium accompanist uh, plays a supporting role and follows the singer closely and uh, you will see as i said you will notice that the accompanist whether it is a tabla or the harmonium player they would be constantly looking and uh, following very closely what the singer is doing